Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to create membership site in WordPress. So let's just begin. First of all, you have to log in into your WordPress dashboard, and after that, uh, we have to install the plugin uh, to create the membership site. Okay, so let's click on the Add New Plugin, and from here we will simply install Ultimate Membership Plugin. Okay, so as you can see, the Ultimate Member Plugin at the top of the search by the Ultimate Member. So we can use this plugin to create the user profiles, user registrations and the login forms and the member directories and the content restrictions and the user roles and much more using this plugin. Okay, so let's click on the install and now we have to click on the activate here and if I just scroll down, you will be able to see here that our ultimate member plugin is actually activated. Okay. So now let's just go into our ultimate member from here. Okay, so first of all, we need to know that what is required to create the membership site. So to create the membership site, at least you have to create the registration form, login and logout functionality, and also the user profile. Okay, so we can do all of these things with this plugin. Okay, so as you can see that in the ultimate member plugin, we have the dashboard settings, form, user roles and the member directories and the extensions. So right now, I'll just simply go inside the forms here. So in the forms, as you can see that we have these default form for the registration, for the login and the profile. But I won't be using the default registration forms. So I would simply create the new form from here. So I have to click on the add new from here. So as you can see here, we can simply create the new registration form from here. So first of all, we have to write down the name of the form. So that would be new registration form. And after that, we have to select the form type. So in the form type, we have the registration form. We have the profile form and we have the login form. But right now we will simply select the registration form here. And from here in the form builder, we can simply create our registration form. So if I just click on this plus icon, you will be able to see the fields manager. So in the fields manager, we have the new fields. If you want to create the new field, we also have the predefined fields. So if you want to use the predefined fields, you can simply use it from here. So let's click on the username here in the predefined field. Okay. And after that, I would like to have the email address. And after that, I will simply go with the password. So after that, I will simply use the phone number here. Okay, so as you can see here, but if you want to create the new field here, we have the, a lot of the different options from which we can pick. So you can simply pick the text box. So for example, I want to create the new field of the password. So I just simply click on the password. And as you can see that in the password, I have to write down the title. I have to write down the meta key and the help text. And we have the minimum length of the password and the maximum length of the password. So I have to define these values. And we have the visibility. So do I want to make this visible to everywhere? Or you can also see this option in the edit mode only and the view mode only. So we also have the label here. So you can fill out the label. You can fill out the placeholder. And in the privacy, you can simply select the privacy for the everyone members. And you can also see the other options here. And if you want to force the strong password, you simply check this. And if you want to add the confirm password field automatically you simply check this as well and in the last we have the confirm password field level so you can simply fill out these details here and you can also uh, add the additional field support so in the similar way if you want to create the simple text box you will simply click here and you can see these options here so you can simply fill out these options from here but right now let's just click on the cancel and I just want to go with these options from here. And you can also have the live preview of the registration form from here if you want to. Okay, so after that, we have the shortcut. So if I want to use this form, I will simply use this shortcut. And if I want to customize this form, so I can choose the settings from here, whether I want to apply the custom settings to this form or not. And we have this privacy policy as well. Okay, so we have simply created the new registration form. So now I just have to create this registration form. So this option was actually missing. So all I need to do, I had to refresh this page and it appeared again. So now let's click on the create. 
and as you can see that our form is created so if you want to update the form you can simply update it from here and then all you need to do is to update the value from here okay so now what we need to do i'll simply click on the forms here so in the form as you can see that now we have this new registration form along with the default forms okay so if i wanted to use this form all i need to do is to copy this shortcut from here right now i just want to use this new registration form okay so for that i will simply go inside the pages and in the pages i have to add the new page for the registration so let's click on the add new i will just simply add it this page with the block editor of the wordpress so write down the registration here and in the block i would have to add the block here so this would be actually the short code so in the short code we will simply paste the short code that we have got from the new registration form so let's click on the paste and we have this uh, short code so let's just use this short code and click on the same graph and let's just click on the preview and i want to preview this in the new tab okay so you can see that we have this uh, text here you are already registered because i'm actually logging into my wordpress account so i just simply go back here and click on the publish and if i just click on the view page and from here i have to copy the url here and i have to open up the new browser okay so now we are in the google chrome so i just simply paste this url here and from here you will be able to see the registration form so you can see that we have the username we have the email password confirm password and the phone number so in the similar way we will clear the login page and also the profile page so let's go back let's just go back to our wordpress dashboard and from here let's just click on the forms in the ultimate member okay so now you can see that we have the forms here and from here i will just simply create the two pages the one for the login and another one for the user profile so let's click on the add new and let's just write down the title of the page that would be the login and click on the add blog that would be the short code okay so now we have to go to the forms here and i simply want to use the default login here so i just simply copy this short code of the default login go back to our add new page and paste the short code here and i have to publish this login page and if i just click on the view page you will be able to see the login page here as we know that we are already logged in here so i just simply copy this and i will go back to the google chrome here and paste the url here and from here you will be able to see our login page okay so in the last we have to create the user profile page okay so let's just go back and click on the add new and i have to write down the title user profile click on the add block that would be the short code again and let's just go back to the forms again and we have this default profile so i just want to use this copy this from here the short code of the default profile let's just go back to the add new page and paste the short code here and after that you have to publish the page and click on the view page here and you will be able to see the user profile here so as you can see that we have the user profile here and we have the login here and we have the registration page here so we have created all of these three pages and we have added the three forms from the ultimate membership the first one was the new registration form that we have created and after that we have used the default login and the user profile form all right so the things are working here so i have to go back to the google chrome here and from here i just simply create the new user so let's just fill out the detail of the new user okay so as you can see that i have filled out the dummy detail for the registration so let's click on the register we have registered our account here so now if i just go inside the login okay so now from here i just simply log in into my account that i have created earlier so that would be okay so now let's click on the login and now you can see that i have logged in into my account but there is a problem here so i have to fix this so i'll just simply go back here and from here we have to go inside the ultimate member and in the ultimate member we have to click on the settings okay so from here i have to choose the pages for our login page register page and the user page so for the user page 
we have the user profile and for the login page we have this login page that we have created and for the register we have this registration page so now let's click on the save changes all right so now if i just go back to the google chrome here if i log in again into my account here and click on the login button you will be able to see the user page here you will be able to see the user profile here as you can see here and in the similar way if you want to configure the other pages you can simply do it from here all you need to do is to first create the page and then you have to add those pages here accordingly all right so now if i just click on the users here you will be able to see that our user is registered on our wordpress site all right so this is how we can create the membership site in the wordpress so we have covered the registration we have covered the login and the logout functionality and we also cover the user profile so this is it for this video so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel